A lot to talk about today. Let's start with Tyler, the creator. His new album, Scum Fuck Flower Boy, weird to say that out loud, is coming on the 21st, but it actually leaked two weeks early, so it dropped on Monday. Um, and there's some interesting songs on there. People seem to think that he's addressing his sexuality um, on songs like I Ain't Got Time, for example. He says, next line, we'll have him like, whoa, I've been kissing white boys since 2004. Um, and later on Garden Shed, he says, thought it was a phase, thought it would be like the Frank Poof gone, but it's still going on. Um, this also dropped on the five year anniversary of Frank uh, Channel Orange, Frank Ocean's project, and he did write the Tumblr post talking about falling in love with the guy just a few days earlier. Do you think this is all one big coincidence? I would like for Joe, Joe had an interesting theory. I would love for you to, for you to flush this out for us. You're not talking about the theory that I said in our back talent room. Yeah. I didn't know if I was prepared to say that here. You want to ease into it then? <laughs> I, I thought I was just talking to you guys. Come I don't know on. It's if in I, a pre-production. I don't know if I'm, I, I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm talking to you on pre-production. I don't know if I'm prepared to say that here. Um, it's hypothetical. It's a it's a theory. But you know what I will say is, I'm real happy about this. I mean, I'm glad. My first question was, why is this news? Every time a gay person comes out and says I'm gay, I always wonder why. Why is it news? I think as a society and as a culture, we're past this point where someone's sexual preference would be shocking or, or something for us to take some time with or, or deeply analyze. Really? I mean, maybe in society, but hip hop, hip hop is yeah. still pretty in, in the levels of homophobia. Hip hop. Don't I don't really... think so. I don't think so at really? all. I, I think you are entirely. How can you say that? We just watch me go stand up dressed like that. Okay, but well, Joe. Well, Young Thug, for a lot of his well, choices. Well, wait, 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 time out, because I want to hear from him. No, wait. But before you you start. Wait, because I'm, Migos was dressed like that, That what's the correlation between their dressing and The correlation is Atlanta is on top in hip hop, right? Okay, but the Migos aren't gay. We don't, I'm not talking about Migos being gay. I'm talking about, I'm talking about heterosexual, homosexual, what, no, what's the term? Uh, metrosexual style with sexual preferences. So Atlanta's on top in hip hop. This is just my brain. You ask me to talk, I'm talking. Atlanta's on top in hip hop. Atlanta is predominantly homosexual. I don't think it's a coincidence that today hip hop, the style, the dress, the, the slang, the talk, I don't, it's, it's taken from gay culture. Okay, so I guess it's maybe- Wait, 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 I had another point. Because okay. y'all two say that uh, homophobia in hip hop today is, no, again, last decade, early last decade, when there were rumors of rappers being gay, then there was the one gay rapper, what was he, a gospel gay rapper? I don't remember, but there was a gospel gay rapper that came out early. They got rid of him, they threw him to the side. When Eric Sermon had jumped out the window in that apartment, there was all types of gay rumors going on there too. Last decade in hip hop, we wouldn't accept a gay rapper at all. We, and I'm not saying we as in, as in me, we, are, are we as a culture. Are we accepting gay rappers or... 100% we're, just, we're really accepting joke. gay rappers. Really? I, I mean, we, we see rappers who have tendencies you might identify with, like, gay culture, if that's a thing. Tyler said, I've, Tyler said and, I, and I don't know how true any of this is, he said, I've been trying to come out for the last five years. Everybody well, thought I was joking. That so, couldn't happen last decade. Hmm. That could not happen. Well, well, he he ushered in this new era of like trolling. He's a big troll, which really for me that that was my shock. And I understand why it's news. He didn't he, usher in trolling. He's just a troll. Okay, but he he's, he's one of the rappers who their whole public image is just kind of just making everything a big joke. I mean, if I had to compile a list of probably the top five seemingly homophobic rappers, he'd be on it. Why? So, why? So he got why? called why? out why? a lot. I'll oh. tell you why. He got called out a lot for saying derogatory words towards uh, the homosexual. Word a, lot. a lot. But he also says that he never meant anything offensive by it to him. It's just another word. In a interview with Rolling Stone back in 2015, he was making so many uh, gay jokes that the writer asked him straight up, are you gay? And he says something like, yeah, I'm gay as fuck and then says, no, just kidding, but I love Leonardo DiCaprio. He just jokes about it so much that people just never knew what to make of it. And also his song lyrics are usually so lewd and so graphic mm -hmm. in terms of, he, he references homosexuality a lot. Which is why I'm not understanding why anybody is surprised that Tyler, the They just didn't know if he was being closet. serious, that's all, Joe. No, but if, if... When do you hear straight men 
joke about being gay for years. Honestly, answer it. You're right. However, he's just he's, we used to it's chalk it. A, we used to chalk it up as immaturity. He comes across very immature, and because of that, a lot of his antics, people say, "Yo, this is just a kid. It's just a kid." But now, when you realize maybe there was something deeper to it, maybe there was literally where there was smoke. There was literally fire. I applaud. Uh, you like gonna give us one? <laughs> you like you gonna, one? Give, gonna give us one of them? Shit <laughs> yeah, but it makes day. sense, man. When where there's smoke, there's fire. Listen, I applaud not only Tyler for, for owning his identity, um, I applaud hip-hop for disregarding it for so many years and thinking he was playing. I remember a hip-hop where we weren't so accepting of, of, of uh, homosexual MCs. And I don't see anybody giving Tyler any slack. And you shouldn't give him slack. Let me be clear about that. You, you, there's nothing to... And, that, and that's why I say, like, when, when people come out of the closet this, this way, like, in 2017 is this news. When Ellen came out the closet, a lot of backlash. That was news. We didn't think her career would take off. Like, in the late 90s, if you came out the closet, it was, it was detrimental to your career. Today, you don't really have too many things to worry about. Really? I don't know if I agree with you. I mean, well... well if a lot of these new rappers came out, like people already think they already have the tendencies that would make them seem gay. So, I mean, I, you're right, the backlash might be different, but I don't think the acceptance, we're like, oh, yeah. great, like he's homosexual. I, I think the acceptance is. Oh, y'all, y'all, I don't, I don't know what world y'all are living in. The, the. Do you feel like when the, Frank Ocean uh, came out, and of course he's not even a rapper, he's a singer, do you feel like he was accepted fully okay, by the culture? Speaking about acceptance, and I know musically, when he came out, he was already done. McConan came out to be gay. And everyone, anytime anything is spoken about him, that is constantly the number one thing. And people use derogative terms just to describe him all the time. All of the oppressed except for black people are the most powerful people in the world. When I say oppressed, gays, women. Like, yes. we're in a time where... Hip-hop used to be a bubble, though. That society's more accepting than hip-hop is really... Push it away, like, nah, we not fucking with that shit right now. I don't even understand how y'all can make that point and every other week album covers are released with men in dresses. I don't understand. Yeah, but Joe, when I, that album came I'm out... I'm saying that hip-hop mm. is much more accepting yes. today yes. of not only, You're right. not only gay men, mm -hmm. but gay styling, uh, gay slang, hip what, where, where's Jay, the debate? More, no, no, no. Okay, more <laughs> accepted, but not fully. You make it sound say, like it's... I don't make it sound. I don't imply. I didn't say fully. I'm comparing but, today okay. and today's climate only okay. with yesteryear, well, which course. is last decade. Okay. So when I say I'm point. proud and very happy that this can happen today, mm -hmm. and y'all say, wait, what do you mean? You think we're accepting it? Yes, I think we're accepting. No, but to, to your point of why is this news... Well, given the, given the history of hip hop, well, I know why it's news. That's exactly. my okay. own eclectic right. brain. I do know why it is news. But how far how far can we go with with this news? Tyler is gay. What do we think about Tyler being gay? I applaud Tyler and whatever he likes to do in his own time. And by the way, I, the Odd Future fans they're gonna support him to the max. I don't see anyone saying, "Oh, he's gay." We're not. I, they're gonna love him. Okay. They're going to love him, support oh, him, as they should. Listen, honestly, if you, if you uh, let me pardon my ignorance. Tyler coming out as gay has made me a lot more accepting of him. Uh, I thought he was just a little off. I thought he was a little off, a little weird, a little extra, a little too attention-seeking, all these things just because, mm -hmm. and you know, it's a common mistake that humans make when we don't know what box to put somebody in, when we don't know how to categorize somebody, it's difficult for us to accept them. So I just thought that he was goofy and the guy didn't want to be around him. Him being gay, oh, okay, all right, it, 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 it's a little different. It's a little different. We're not in a time where somebody's going to come out and say, oh, Tyler's gay, fuck him. Of course they I are. I, I still see him. it. I still Listen, see it on social. Migos just came out, and I hate to keep referencing them, but they just came out with all that when they uh, did the song with Katy Perry and they said whatever they said. That was a really big deal, and that uh, was outside of hip-hop. That had to do with pop stars. So if we keep this all in rap, yeah, yeah, hip hop today, hip hop today is probably more gay than that. You know what though? I, I put it like this. Tyler also is in a different lane. If a gangster rapper like one of these, if 21 Savage, of course he's in a relation, but if somebody who was more aggressive that you saw as the macho tough guy came out to be gay, there would be a lot more backlash than the guy you think is goofy. He's a little bit off, 
Now he says, oh, you know what? I love okay. when our conversations are layered. Now let's take it to the next step of my earlier point that uh, hip hop is a lot more accepting today. Ack, today, gangster rappers are laughed at. The street niggas are laughed at. All of the, we in, we in antichrist mode, bizarro world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Explain that, what do you mean they're laughed at? How many niggas is tough today in hip hop? I mean, I can't tell. Instagram, every, every, everybody's tough. But let's run with this example, like a 21 internet, Savage or a YG. One second, Adesca, the internet is not the space today for tough guys. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You of anybody should know this because your page posts a lot of pseudo tough guys. When you post that tough shit online today and digital and online runs the world, I'm sorry if people don't know that, but when you post that shit online today, all oh, your fans are laughing. The nerds is laughing. The hipsters are laughing. Hipsters are running shit today. Not the tough guys. Who cares what tough niggas and street niggas got to say? I mean, you might, you might have a slightly different point. Check your Instagram. No, 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 no. Just because the 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 rappers we consider street are gangster now, they're a little bit different. Meek from... was tough the whole Drake beef and got laughed at. That is true. Meek was tough just. The, uh, okay, two weeks is, ago with Safari is, and got laughed at. You want me to keep talking about the times that people have been tough and they've gotten laughed at in today's hip hop? Yeah. This is this is listen. This is not even a story today. Applaud Tyler and that's that. Ten years ago, oh that's a story. That's a story. Today you gay. Good for you. I, I still think it's big, but I agree. Yeah, me too. I, I agree with your point that we're making progress. I don't feel like it's as widely accepted as you're saying, but do you guys think it's a coincidence that it leaked on the five-year anniversary of Channel Orange? Oh, now that's the theory that Ack was asking me to talk about. And, and I, I, have no, I have no problem talking about the theory. I'm not ready to stick to it. I said when this story broke, I immediately went back. Well, no, when I saw that Channel Orange was released, how many years ago? I hate all of that shit when they do it. This was five. 20 years ago. But when I saw the Channel Orange was released five years ago, I went back to listen to Channel Orange to listen to all the songs where Frank was talking about a man. Pardon me. I was trying to see if he was talking about Tyler. I was. I remember... You Frank was fucking Tyler. I was trying to see if he was talking about Tyler with the new information that we were given about Tyler only because I remember... Prior to Channel Orange dropping, Frank kind of distancing himself from Odd Future. And we never got an answer for why. Nobody. I'm talking about uh, people in the industry. I'm talking about people in Odd Future. We never, we were left to speculate. And in speculating, the story just kind of came and went. Now with this new information, and I'm only saying this because I've seen this before in, in music where two people are gay, one person's not ready to come out, one person like, all right, fuck you, I'm out, I'm accepting myself. So I've seen that, so my brain was forced to wonder about that. I have nothing to fucking add to that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. It was interesting. <laughs> I'm going to always try to get to a, a theory well, or I personally my brain that works. He, he kind of <laughs> separated from our future just because, just because he was going through a weird time and he was going through it alone. I don't think they well, kind of... Wait, 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 wait. What weird time was he going through alone? Well, he, well, he came out. He said, yo, I'm bisexual, right? Bisexual now, his whole fucking life. What oh, weird time was he going But now through? it's public. Like, now it was actually being mm -hmm. himself. He wasn't, like, playing to this image of being what... Yeah, but, he, but it wasn't public uh, when uh, Ultra... Ultra... Nostalgia Ultra. It wasn't public then, even though the lyrics were t uh, telling us... Uh, and also, his art's a little bit different. Like, if you listen to his music and, and the art that he creates and what Tyler does, or, or like, even the other members of Odd Future, there's a, there's a little bit of difference where... You can't be with them all the time and then come up with this. So I, I felt that it was for his own creative purposes as well. Well, my only point in what you're saying is there was no off time with Frank between uh, Ultra Nostalgia. I mean, I'm buying to the Frank between was the fucking. Frank was fucking. And the album. <laughs> I, I'm he was buying, red I'm hot buying. on fire. Mm -hmm. go, he was red hot on fire. <laughs> Then his album came out, and a few days before he put out the, the long letter. It was genius. I think Frank is a genius. Let, let me just be clear on that. Yeah. His sexual preference means act, absolutely zero to me. I think Frank is a genius. Even the even the press release, the note, the Wait. day before, two days before the album, I thought all of that question. was amazing. That shit was so amazing, it had me saying, damn it, if I was gay, I would fucking come out the closet in a heartbeat. The music industry fucking just clamors over 
extremely talented gay people. If you're gay, it's an advantage. Sorry. I feel like I'm with Maybe Ak on this one. For certain Maybe artists, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking rap. I'm, I'm thinking Man. gay guy coming out just rapping aggressively about something. All right, y'all keep, keep trying to... You haven't seen it yet. Y'all keep trying to down, you minimalize my point and say, oh, maybe it's hip-hop. Fuck hip-hop. Fuck hip-hop. I'm talking about the world. I'm talking about being gay in the world. Fuck hip hop. Dude, but I'm not subscribing to all that. We have to talk about it in this stereotypes in hip hop. We have to talk in the context of hip hop because yeah. there's a lot of shit that's accepted in hip hop, promoting hip hop, that's just not even accepted just regularly. If somebody society, go jump society. off the fucking bridge and y'all going to jump off the fucking bridge, hip hop will endorse a lot of shit that you should not subscribe to in life. Why am I only talking about hip hop? Nah, my brain is able to differentiate. When hip-hop is saying something stupid, when they're teaching something stupid, when they're condemning, condoning something stupid, I'm not subscribing to that because I'm in hip-hop. You're missing the point. Then tell me the point. What I'm saying is that, first of all, you making that announcement is going to affect a lot of stuff, at least with your career. We're talking about your, your career is in hip-hop if you're a hip-hop artist coming out of the closet. Of course society accepts you. And it's the same reason why... You, you, Every the, rapper oh. is trying to graduate from music. All of them. Tyler's done every it. Not last... everyone is there yet, though. Well, no, I'm only... So let's say we're separating I'm those, the replying, Tyler's. I'm only replying to his point, saying that right. uh, you, we're talking about music and I'm talking about society. Every rapper is trying to graduate from music, so why would I just want to stay there? Every rapper is thinking about how society fucking reacts and accepts them. Everybody's not just staying in music. That shit is a facade. Oh, well, if we're, if we're talking about just society, fine. But again, for most people, their reality is how they're affected in hip-hop, okay? Not Fuck. everyone's at the point to transcend, okay? Fuck I agree with him. Some people are just starting out and they don't have the leverage that Tyler does. He's yeah. beyond rap, like you said. Not everyone's like that. And also not everyone's image is, I, I think his image lends to him coming out without getting that backlash. I don't even understand your point. I want people to be comfortable being themselves, no matter what. We the, do too. What We're not disagreeing with that. I don't know. Y'all points is independent of what I'm saying. Here in hip hop, you gotta no, really. No, no, right, you just, I don't you know just, what y'all talking about. and said the same thing. No, so I did not. No, I did not. And if that's what you heard, your brain is off. Fifteen years ago, hip hop, la la. You just you were saying the same thing in terms of hip hop, right? You're like, if a gay rapper came out fifteen years ago, there would be blah blah going on, right? We're just saying how it's affected now in hip hop, but you want to expand it to the entire society. That's what it seems you're trying to do. Context of the conversation. This started with Tyler and hip hop yesteryear in my conversation. Y'all are talking about today, and that's where I'm off. Y'all are talking about today and how it's accepted. I don't see what y'all are saying. But I don't I see how y'all see it when every fucking day we sit here and talk about some gay shit. Um, look, I agree with most of your points, so I don't know why we're like deeply arguing.